We're here with Liz Harris this morning. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. How are you? And I'm we will Danny, be opening the you. phone lines to take uh, whatever calls you got. We're going to talk about the Big Bear Valley Education Trust, right? The annual report, right? And a fundraiser you're doing at Club Bombay. You got it. Woof. Woof. -a -dee -doo. Woof. You've been busy. <laughs> Woof. Yes. Oh well, what yeah, a shocker! Let Liz has out. been busy. <laughs> Liz has been busy, as opposed to just sitting around, sitting eating around eating bonbons, store, eating bonbons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And before uh, before we do that, though, we have a report from Thursday's meeting. And before we do that, we have somebody on the phone. Good morning. You're Hello. live on the air. Hello, John. Hey, this is Michael Copley. Hello, I'm Michael. Little, I'm little Brandon Jr.'s grandfather. Yes, sir. I just want to thank you and Channel Six for all the uh, support in the valley. Yes. And everything that you've guys done. And uh, he's going to have a, a funeral on February the 10th at 10 o'clock in the morning at Big Bear Mortuary, and everybody is invited. Very good, very good. Um, thank you, Michael, and our, our thoughts are with you. Our hearts. Thank you so much. All right. That was, uh, as you'll see in the news, there uh, was a little two year old. Passed away last Sunday, and there has been a memorial fund set up at First Mountain Bank, and there's a couple other things uh, uh, going on. They've got uh, donation cans. The family is not in a place where they can afford the funeral. Right. So uh, watch the news at the top of every hour. Get a pencil handy and write down the uh, account number at First Mountain. They're great people over there. You know, Very it, local. this is one of those times when we can all reach out and support our own, which is really, really what Big Bear's all about. Speaking of that, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, if you go to the Channel 6 website, channel6bigbear.com, there is a follow-up on all of these news stories, but we have had, at, well, the state has had kind of a oh. shocker handed to us mm -hmm. in the last few weeks there. First, How about years? Well, yeah, it's been getting worse and worse every it's time awful. we turn around. Uh, for those of you that don't know, anytime the federal government folks talk about education their contribution to the cost of local education is less than one percent mm -hmm. of the cost so you know not a lot i, I don't yet they'll pass programs uh that say well you, you've got to pass mandates. all this stuff. yeah they pass things front down from mm -hmm. on high as it were that's right but never pass any money along you and know, our state has been confronted with just one i mean if if this was the only cut we had it'd be one thing oh well but it hasn't been you know dan mentioned redevelopment mm -hmm. and redevelopment's gone but it, it, rape pillage and plunder there i'm i'm sorry i just yeah it, oh yeah gone. they the uh earlier last year the governor and our legislature decided they were going to take all the uh, redevelopment funds that little local municipalities have been saving and working on to redevelop their community because they needed them at the state level more than we did. And yeah. so, what was it, 400 cities sued the, the, the state government to say, mm -hmm. you can't do that, and we lost. The I, judge I'm not said, sure oh, yes, how. you can. I'm not sure. I, it's just got to be what, the way the laws what are written. They, what they can give, they can also take away. That's the bottom line. So, uh, lost that. Mm -hmm. And now uh, school systems all across the country have lost funding, mm -hmm. and, it, and, and the impact on them depends on how much they were counting on state money. Really. Well, you know, this has been going on for some time, mm -hmm. and what I, I, I'm a former educator, mm -hmm. so ed public education is my heart. I mean, that's the bottom line. And what has happened to our statewide, to our schools, is criminal as far as I'm concerned. We are not only affecting what we're doing right now, but we're affecting our economy in the long run. We're affecting our competitiveness with the other world it's cultures cliche, that are but growing. kids are our future, but it's true. It's true. It's true. And, about and we two, can't compete anymore. Well, well I mean, bye gum. I, I, I'm <laughs> we're sorry. Gonna, I, we're I, gonna I didn't stay mean that to be it. disparaging no, but, to, to but our kids right. out there. No, you're but right. We're, we're impairing their ability to compete mm -hmm. in the world market. Mm -hmm. And we are a world market anymore. That's you know, the this point. Is not, that's we're, the point. We're not local. Anymore. You know, the next thing that's likely to happen is that um, we are going to cut instructional days. Mm -hmm. And when, we, when we're competing with other countries who don't have the thousands of things that are required mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. be taught, they... We teach 
at a level like this mm -hmm. with lots of things at a surface level. Mm -hmm. They teach In depth. a few things and they go deep. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, there's, it's a different culture that mm -hmm. we're with the, from ours, from others.